so after finishing the lecture and now we know about the ERD that how to create our ERD and what are the different parts of our ERD as well so now we are going to design our ERD entity relationship diagram in our SQL server management studio first of all we need to open that we discussed about the login localhost windows authentication each and everything in detail connect it go to the database now we have some already created database BBA BCS Cardan MBA VB so now I'm adding another database click on databases new database give the name to database suppose LLB department database okay now LLB database is added go to the tables there are no tables by default so click on new table add the new table suppose this table is for the students of LLB department students so student ID its type should be integer its required attribute student name its type should be character its length should be 15 and it is also a required attribute student address its type should be virtual and its length should be 40 why I use the virtual because we are going to enter special characters numbers and digits as well department or the course ID and it should be integer as well it is also required mobile it's numeric it's also required and email email should be virtual and its length should be 30 and it is uh, optional okay. now save the table with the name of a student student table okay now the table is saved now by default by default if you want to add some changes in the existing table so it will not allow you to perform those changes suppose here I'm going to change the type of a student ID from integer data type to numeric now I change that and now I want to save it but it is not allowing me to save the changes which I perform to my existing table inside my database so there is an option in tools go there in options in designer you will see prevent saving changes that require table recreation uncheck that option and ok now this time if you perform some changes suppose I am changing the course ID to numeric and save so changes are made it will allow you to save the changes by unchecking that option which is inside the option table options and prevent saving changes okay so <clears throat> now I'm going to create another table for course the course ID should be integer and it is also required 
course name this type should be character it's also required course title it's uh, it should be voucher should be 15 and it is also required and the one attribute with which I want to create the relationship from another table so here I am going to create the relationship with the student ID and its type is integer so you need to add here as well a student ID and with the same type if the types are changed then relationship will not be created and it is also required save it with the name of course okay now go to the database diagrams in diagram click on new database diagram so first of all when the very first time you are going to create it it will give you the option do you wish to create them yes now all the tables which is which you have in llb database they will be appear here and you can add all of them so i am adding the course and the student as well so later on when you are going to work on big projects so you will have a variety of tables all of your uh, tables inside your database so now if I try to create the relationship at this point so the relationship will not be created just just let me show you how so I'm clicking here and I'm dragging it to the student ID but the relationship is not creating what error it is giving primary key or unique constraint must be defined for table course before it can participate in a relationship it's mean that you need to define the identifier as well so I am clicking on this attribute or you can create the identifier from here as well by clicking here or by directly clicking in the diagram which attribute you want to create your primary key let me show you how so I'm going to make make this attribute as my identifier as my primary key so click on that so you will key you will see a key is appeared with that attribute so creating relationship is easy just click on that attribute drag it and leave it on the table with which you want to create the relationship so you are going to see that primary key is in the student table and the foreign key is in the course table and the foreign key attribute is the name of that attribute with which you have created the relationship is your student id click on ok so it will give you both sides of relationship must have the same number of columns so the name the number of columns are same at both sides so we need to include one more attribute as well so remember one thing before creating the relationship make sure that both of the data types in both table they should be same in here we used for student id integer and it is required so you need to make sure that in the course table it should also be the same data type and also with the same required so now by checking all these things click on the student id attribute go to the second table and leave it to the student id attribute in the course so now the primary key is a student in the student table the primary key is a student id and the foreign key is your student id in the course table okay now the relationship is created okay and now you will see that the relationship is created among both of the tables